Hi, this is Bob Langies, and today we're going to go over the basic configuration, things that you need to do before you could use the AdTran Total Access 908E. Out of the box, it comes set up with an IP address of 10.10.10.1, and what you'll need to do is you'll need to set up your PC on a compatible network, right? So say if you set your PC up to an IP address of 10.10.10.50, uh, with a 255.255.255.0 subnet mask you'll be able to use your web browser to access the configuration menu. The default login information is admin and password as the passwords, all lowercase is the password. And that'll take you here to the main screen and that'll tell you some things about your total access including your firmware version and you know system time and date. Uh, you could start, begin your work right here right so uh, Sometimes the time will be wrong. If you want to go ahead and change the system time, you can just click on this and you get your time and date. And you're able to make those adjustments right there and click apply. It'll make those configuration elements, uh, put them in play for you. Okay, so the things that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to enable DHCP so it's easy to get an IP address from the unit. And you're also going to want to enable the secondary Ethernet port to be a WAN port to so you can allow this unit to function as a basic firewall right basic firewall and hand out some IP addresses so what uh, tasks do we need to do that first off take a look here and we have um, you know our variety of interfaces right since this is a 9080 we have four T1s that we can configure and we have a couple of ethernets uh, I'm plugged into ethernet 0 uh, slash 1 and that's how I got this uh, connection and this is what I'm going to use for my WAN interface. So the first step I'm going to do is configure and enable Ethernet 0 slash 2. So I click on that, click on enable, give it a name, which I'm going to call it WAN to make it nice and simple. Uh, since I'm plugging into something that I could grab DHCP, I'm going to do that as well. And uh, I'm going to apply those changes. And then after I apply those changes, we could go back to the system summary here and I will have some information right here. It hasn't grabbed an IP address yet from my network, but we can see that it's active now. Uh, the next thing I want to do is configure my DHCP server so it can serve up some addresses for me. So let's, you know, let's call it uh, internal. And I will add that. And so what subnet am I on do, that I want to hand out these addresses for? I know since it's set up as 10.10.10.1 as my router address, I, I'm going to set it up as 10.10.10.0, which is my network, right? And for my purposes, I'm going to do a 24-bit subnet mask. And I need to give a default gateway that I want to hand out to my DHCP clients so that's going to be this device here so I will hand out that I'm going to then want to configure very importantly DNS right so if I don't do this I'll get I won't get any kind of name resolution so I'm going to use what I know that I have as a device that hands out DHCP And I'm also going to throw in one that's out on the internet that I know that's dependable as well. And I will click apply. And now what I have is a DHCP pool that is going to hand out addresses on the 10.10.10.0 network. And it's going to hand out a gateway address of 10.10.10.1. And it's going to hand out a DH, or I'm sorry, DNS address of 192.168.254.1. Okay, so now that I have my DHCP pool set up, and I could go and I could check to see if I've received my appropriate credentials. Which let's see here, IP config, and I see that I have an IP address of 10.10.10.3, and all that other information is correct there. I need to configure the unit so that it will give me basically access to the outside world. So AdTran includes a firewall wizard here. Really for super basic configuration, I just follow along here. Which interface do I have plugged to the outside? Oh, look at that, my WAN interface I just created. And do I have any servers on the inside that I want to allow through through port forwarding? And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to say no. I'm going to go click through. 
and I click finish and what it does is that'll write my firewall configuration real time so when this window uh, disappears and my other window comes back we'll be able to go and check and see if it worked so it says it's completed let's launch into a command window here in Windows bring this into the view let's ping uh, an IP address So as I went through here and I tried to test out my connection, I, I was having a problem. One thing that you want to do if you do select DHCP on this Ethernet interface here is click here on the interface and scroll down and click the Renew button and that will allow you to refresh the DHCP from whatever serving it out of your WAN connection. But once you do that, uh, and you know what, possibly you don't even have to do that, but you'll be able to go through and see what you got as far as an IP address which I drew 10.10.10.3 and then you could test the ping addresses out there just uh, through IP addresses or you could also go ahead and ping other addresses too right so I have my resolution here but that's not responding so let's just try see if Google's friendlier and yes they are so I have connectivity so what we have configured here is the ADTRAN total access 908E. We have one network connection that is serving up DHCP to my local network here. And then I have another one that's set up to receive DHCP from my WAN device. I could have just as easily assigned that a static IP address that maybe my provider had given me. And uh, in our next videos, we'll go through configuring the other aspects of this platform. Thank you.